Alright, in this video, as promised, we're going to talk about the Parkland formula. What is the Parkland formula? Parkland formula has to do with burn patients. When patients are burned, they lose a lot of fluids through the burn and also a lot of fluids from their bloodstream enters the burned tissues and the whole body systemically. And why is this? Well, at the site of the burn, uh, all the cells are breaking down and releasing proteins into the, uh, the tissues around the blood vessels. And also there's damage to the blood vessels. So fluid leaks out of the blood vessels and is attracted to those proteins that are in the skin tissues. Also systemically, there's systemic inflammation due to uh, the trauma to the body. And with inflammation uh, and stress, it causes fluid to be deposited systemically as well. So, these patients are at high risk for shock uh, because they don't have a lot of fluids in their bloodstream. So, what you need to do in the first 24 hours of a big burn is give them lots and lots of fluids. The Parkland formula was developed to help us know how much fluids this patient needs to get within a 24 hour period. Now, let's look at the formula real quick. You can see that it will, it's what it's going to tell us is how much to give over 24 hours, but a little more specifically, Half of that is going to be given emergently in the first 8 hours, and then the other half is going to be given over the next 16 hours. How do we know how much to get? Uh, Parkland, which is a big hospital that's known very well for treating burns, has done a lot of studies and they found that if you take 4 milliliters for every kilogram of weight of the patient times the, uh, the amount of the body that is burned with second degree burns, the percentage, then you can get that 24 hour period of fluids. So the best way to explain this is let's just do an example together. So some uh, key terms here. A kilogram is 2.2 pounds. Okay. And TBSA, this is a total body surface area percentage that is burned with uh, greater than or equal to a second degree burn. What's a second degree burn? First degree would be a sunburn. Second degree would be anything above just light pinkness with very light swelling. So if you start seeing blisters or extreme swelling, redness, white, black, brown, tan skin, that's going to be counted. Now, how do we determine the TBSA? I'm going to explain in this example the rule of nines. So in this diagram you can see that the body is broken up into sections that can constitute 9% of the body's total body surface area. So you can see each arm is 9%. So you got 9% and 9%. The head is 9%. The chest, it's quite large, it's counted twice, that's 18%. The back is pretty large, counted twice, is 18%. The front of each leg is 9%, and the front of back of each leg is 9%. So, in summary, 9% for the head and each arm, and 18% for the chest, 18% for the back, 18% for left leg, 18% for the right leg. Let's break into an example here. So we have a 154 pound patient. Well, let's go ahead and figure out what that is. So 154 uh, divided by 2.2, that gives us uh, 70 kilograms exactly. You see the front part always stays the same here. That's 4 milliliters. So we got 4 milliliters times 70 kilograms times, let's figure out what the total body surface area is of greater than second degree burns. So this patient we got, the 154 pound patient, they uh, were trying to start their lawnmower and it exploded on them, gas got on their body, and they lit on fire. All of their left leg is burned with greater than second degree burns, and half of their left arm has greater than second degree burns. So, all of the left leg, I told you, each leg is 9 in the front, 9 in the back, so 18 total. So we got 18% here, and then half of the left arm. The left arm is 9, so that will be half of it we got 4.5. So we got 22.5% uh, okay and so what we can do here uh, with the 22.5 uh, the 70 and the 4 is we can go ahead and do the math. So 70 times 4 times 22.5 that gives us 6,300 cc's of fluid. And this fluid is typically lactated ringers because it has all kinds of supplements and vitamins that the patient's going to need or electrolytes. So we're going to give half over 8 hours and another half over 16 hours. So what are we going to set this up to? Well we got 6300 divided by 2. We're going to give 3150 in the first 8 hours and 
150 over the next 16 hours. So how fast is this going to be in our infusion pump? Well, 3150 divided by 8 is going to be 393.75. So you're going to do 394 cc's per hour. So that's almost, uh, that's pretty much a bolus at that point. Uh, is how fast you're going to run them for the first 8 hours. Then for the next uh, subsequent 16 hours, you're going to run them 3,150 3, divided by 16. You got 196.875. And we're just going to round that up to 197 cc's per hour over 16 hours. And so this is the Parkland formula. If you have any more questions, uh, put it in the comments below or message me on Facebook. This is Easy Nursing.